Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be talking about what RAM is. Let's get into it. Actually, before we go any further, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. Alright, RAM stands for Random Access Memory. And it's basically temporary storage for tabs or windows that you have open. So if you were to open a spreadsheet that you'd already written, let's say it had a name and a birthday on it. Okay, very simple. When you click on that and open it, it loads the file in the hard drive and then it goes to the memory or the RAM and then puts it on your display screen, right? You have the spreadsheet, it's open, you can view it. When you minimize that window, if you didn't have RAM, it would completely delete the window. It would close the program completely. But with RAM, it temporary, temporarily stores the the window and the information on it in the RAM so it's easily accessed quickly. The RAM is a lot faster than a hard drive so if you minimize the program and it's stored in the hard drive and then you reopen it, it would take a while to load. And as you know with Windows, when you close it and open it, it does really fast and that's because of the RAM. Also, when you save a document that saves it to the hard drive. When you type something in the spreadsheet and it's unsaved, all of that is just in the RAM. It's in the temporary storage. And if the power is cut, if there's no power running through the RAM, everything that was stored on it is lost completely. That's why you have to save the document onto the hard drive so it's saved and not on the RAM, or otherwise it will be deleted when the computer shuts down or when you close the document completely. Here is a quick diagram to kind of show what I'm talking about. All right, here we go again. We have the hard drive here, then we have the RAM, and we have the computer. So when we want to open a spreadsheet on our computer here, we click on it, and it goes to the hard drive here, gets the data, sends it to the RAM, and the RAM sends it to the computer. And then we have the spreadsheet right there, right? So let's say we were to minimize the window. We can still reopen it quickly without having to reload it from the hard drive. And that is because it stores this in the RAM when we minimize it, and then when we want it again, we just click the tab, right? Click it, minimize it, and then that brings it back on the screen. Takes it away, brings it back. Then when we completely close the program, it usually asks us if we'd like to save any unsaved changes, and we click yes, usually. And then it saves that to the hard drive here, and then closes the program completely. All right, hope you guys got all that. My last point is just going to be the more memory or RAM you have, the faster your programs are going to boot up and the more programs you'll be able to have open at once. That's it for this one. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to leave the comments below or on my Discord server. I'll leave the link in the video description. Have a good one. Bye.